Hey YouTube, this is Mini with BAMS Tactical. Sorry about the uh, low quality of the video today, but I'm just using my cell phone and I'm in my storage room. So I just want to talk real quick about my gun collection and why I have collected the guns I have and why I feel like this is a well-rounded group. I want to start obligatory <laughs> with the pistol. Um, I've got more than one pistol, but this is the only one that I ever conceal carry. Um, is a Glock 19. It's not the only Glock 19 I carry, but it is uh, the gun that I like to carry. Uh, pistols are great for when you can't carry a rifle, and that's about it. Uh, you can conceal them, you can carry them most places uh, where you can't carry a rifle, and that's why you need a pistol. A pistol, in my opinion, is not a great home defense gun, but it is a great concealed carry gun. My home defense gun, the one that I keep next to my bed for bumps in the night, is this Steyr AUG. Alright, this AUG accepts AR magazines. Um, safety check there, it is empty. Uh, I keep an aim point sight on there because I can leave it on all the time. And I've got a white light on there because if you're going to use anything as a home defense gun, you need a white light. If you don't know what you're shooting at, you cannot morally or legally be shooting at it. All right, so this is my home defense gun. Keeps it next to my bed because it is so short. All right, just real quick, a comparison, and I'll talk more about this rifle in just a second. Um, sorry guys, I got my sling tangled. Um, this is a full 16 inch uh, barrel with a full rifle length stock. And you can see the AUG here, how much shorter it is. So it's great for getting around corners, um, going through doorways and stuff like that. What I don't like about the AUG, and it's just a training thing, really, you can, you know, people wear body armor and use AUGs all the time, but I don't like the way the mags stick down and they can kind of bump armor or magazines there. Um, that's just a bullpup thing. And like I said, I know it's training, but I don't train with it a lot with armor on. It's my home defense gun. So I usually just have what's in there and then I have a, uh, a you know, battle belt or whatever ready to go in case I need it. Next gun I want to talk about real quick was the one I was just holding up. This is a gun I built for my wife. And by built, I mean I purchased the upper and purchased the lower and put them together. <laughs> but um, she wanted something very light and very simple. So I got her a stock that doesn't collapse. I got her a fixed front sight. I got her a white light that just has a single on off button. Uh, I got her an EOTech because she really likes this sight. Um, she likes that the big dot or the big circle is real easy to put on a target in a snap shooting situation. And then you've got the little dot in the middle so you can help line that up for more precise shots. It's got a sling that's easily adjustable and um, it's very light. It's a pencil barrel. It's one of the lightest ARs I've ever picked up and it shoots great. She loves it. Um, so my wife though is 5'9", so that's why a full rifle length stock fits her well and she she loves it she loves shooting this thing it doesn't kick hardly at all not that 223s ever do um but she loves it this is my go-to rifle all right it is an ar-15 it's got a comp m4 on it for from aim point um it's got backup sights on it and it's got a white light that has a press on so you can check real quick, just in case y'all are worried. Um, all of my guns are completely unloaded. You won't even see a magazine in them. I know some people on YouTube freak out. So this is my go-to rifle. Um, I built it a while back. I've put thousands of rounds through it. I like it a lot. Um, it works great for me. And I wanted it to be as versatile as possible. So not only does it have a light that can go white or IR, but it's got a mount in the back so that I can mount some optics amplifiers. So I've got a magnifier here, 3x magnifier from Aimpoint, but on that same mount and in the same container I've got PVS-14 that'll mount right on there as well. Now like I said I can go IR on here. Uh, this is a great hog hunting gun. Um, one of the things that I love is that it's light enough that I can uh, go out into the stand, you know, because you can't hunt deer after night. But you can go deer season. You can take my deer rifle up there, and once the sun sets, then I just pull this out and throw the uh, PVS-14 on it, and now I'm hog hunting. So, 
It's a great all-around rifle. You know, ARs are what they are. They're not uh, the greatest rifle ever created, but they're a great all-around rifle. Um, so that's my favorite AR. I used to live in the suburbs for many years, grew up in the suburbs. I've just recently moved out into the country. And as I moved out into the country a couple years ago, I decided it was to break this guy out and, and break him in. I've had him for years, but uh, this is a PTR-91. PTR-91s are a 308 box-fed uh, semi-auto rifle. I've got a Trigicon ACOG on top. It's 3.5 with a uh, bipod and a sling. Uh, this is my favorite hog hunting gun. It really is. I love to take it out and just, you know, you see a group of them running across the field and you can just unload that whole magazine as fast as you can get back on target. Um, it's not the most accurate, ri accurate rifle out there, but it's accurate enough. Like you can hit a dinner plate at 200 yards with the whole magazine as fast as you can get back on target. Uh, great semi-auto 308. I prefer this over other semi-auto 308s um, because of the ergonomics, really. I like, one of the things I didn't like about the M1A is I like having the pistol grip down here. Um, and there's others out there. Uh, AR-10s, I just, back when I bought this, AR-10s were not the greatest. I know that some companies have come out with some good ones since then, but this is, I've had this for many years. Uh, but I love it. The magazines were really cheap when I bought them, and it just, it'll shoot steel case ammo as good as it shoots brass. So that, it's a cheap gun to shoot as far as 308s go. But I ran into some issues with this gun. Um, namely, the lack of magnification. It's only three and a half. Uh, so you can shoot great out to two or three hundred yards if you know what you're shooting at. Sometimes when I was out there hunting, I couldn't tell if it was a hog or a cow, so I had to let it walk. So one of the things I got was something with some more magnification. So this is a Bergara 308. So it shoots the same uh, rounds as that PTR, but now I've got a 6 to 24 uh, time magnifier on top. Uh, this thing is the most accurate rifle I've ever shot. Uh, when I was sighting it in for the first time, first time I ever, out of the box, like shooting it, I was putting um, sub MOA groups out there and I'm not the greatest shooter, but at 100 yards, I'd shoot three shots and two of them would be touching every single time. Um, so it's a great rifle. Um, I've only had it for a short while, so maybe after this uh, deer season, I will uh, do a better review on it. But this thing is awesome. It is uh, built um, almost like a Remington 700 clone. Uh, it takes the Magpul AICS mags in it. So I've got a bunch of 10 round magazines for this. Uh, but it's a great rifle. I love the Vortex uh, scope on it. It's very clear, um, worth getting, um, pretty budget oriented uh, distance rifle. So you can kind of see how I laid this out, right? We went from short distance can conceal to more firepower but still small compact to we were getting a little bigger right usually more for like outdoors but still relatively close up to i need to reach out to one two three hundred yards regularly and finally with a if I needed to, this is a thousand yard rifle um, with a good scope on it. So bad breath distance out to you know half a mile pretty easily with this group. Now, do you, do you need this many guns to feel safe? No. Um, like I said, I've amassed this over a decade or more. Um, if I had to do it all over again, first thing I would get, just like I did before, I would get a Glock 19 because that way you can be safe and secure everywhere that you're able to carry. Next thing I would get is an AR-15. That's an all-around gun, right? Uh, jack of all trades. I wouldn't go spend two thousand on an AUG right away. I'd go get me a eight nine thousand dollar AR, you know, made by a reputable manufacturer. There's a ton of them out there now. Personally, I'm from Texas, so I'd buy one that's made in Texas if I did it all over again. Uh, which is where the lower from this one came from. Huge fan. The Come and Take It, um, Sons of Liberty Gunworks. Uh, I hear they're great guys. I hear they've got a great return policy. I don't know because none of their shit's ever broken for me. Um, but if you lived out in the country, maybe you live 
um, somewhere up like in the Dakotas, Montana, uh, somewhere in the Rockies or the Appalachians, you know, you might think about going here first for your first rifle with the PTR-91, uh, something that could reach out a little further. Um, maybe live in the wide open plains. Um, I've seen some videos of some guys doing some awesome drills, some awesome uh, shoot and move in, in groups with uh, bolt action rifles. Um, so, I mean, every gun has its job, like they're tools, right? There's no one end all be all greatest gun ever created. Uh, but each gun is a tool and it's got its specialties, it's got its strengths and its weaknesses. So you've got to decide what your personal situation is and how you want to address that. Me personally, I've built up to this and I don't feel a need to expand any further. Um, and I, I practice with all of them. I spend the most time practicing with this guy and my pistol because to me they're the best um, options for an American, right? An American, especially in Texas, uh, there's ARs, there's 223s, there's AR mags everywhere, right? There's Glock 19, there's 9mm, there's Glock uh, 19 mags everywhere. I think these are two very common guns that if you don't know what you want to get, get some variation of an AR and get some variation of a Glock 19, 17, 26 because they share mags. Well, uh, if you have any questions, Leave them in the comments. I don't want to make this video too long. I hope you enjoyed it and understand why I've chosen the guns that I've chosen. Um, if you have any critiques, put them in the comments. Tell me what you did differently. Or better yet, make a response video. I'm so... One of the reasons I got away from YouTube in 2016 was I was so tired of the internet trolls constantly, oh, you're an idiot because of blank. And you don't even have a profile picture and you've never uploaded a video. So if you're going to talk crap, come on. Let's... Let's see a video, and then uh, maybe if you live close enough by, we can go out and shoot together. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Leave any comments, like, subscribe, anything. Um, hope to see you around, YouTube. Thanks for watching.